Hello guys and welcome. We are back and this time we are reviewing Punisher. Uh, managed to get this guy uh, for forty pounds in uh, Nerd Base, which is a really good find because uh, you cannot find him anywhere, anywhere online. That I've been looking for him, can't find him. Um, I actually went in Nerd Base for Axe Woves and didn't come out with Axe Woves. I came out with him. Um, so I only wanted Axe Woves to do a, uh, a, a custom, but I saw this guy and I thought, well, I've got to grab that for £40. So here he is. Comes with a decent amount of stuff as well. The coolest thing is the bike. Really love this bike. So it's similar, obviously, to um, Breaker from uh, G.I. Joe, but I mean, it's might add some paint onto it. Like I might be doing, might do some of the um, engine and stuff like that. But it's a decent bike. Looks really cool on it, and it stands up really well. Um, it's actually got uh, little kickstand here, goes up like that or down, and even when it's up, it still rests. So you can have the kickstand right up like that, which kind of you can have him leaning over sort of thing um, with his foot up or you can have him riding along or you can have it just like that straight so you can have it straight all the way like that and then all the way up so he's riding the bike well obviously that won't stand up um, very well so let's put that off there to the side there um, other things he comes with in the box is he's what have this head on um, in the box. Uh, the other head he comes with, um, but this is the one he has on um, in the actual box, and it's a decent enough sculpt. I mean, it's an older figure now, so but it's a decent enough sculpt. Eyes look good. You know, it, the, the detailing on the actual. Um, wounds are actually good as well so that's not a bad head sculpt especially for a, a a bit of an older figure uh guns they're just kind of um two submachine guns just black plastic so nothing special uh the sword off shotgun uh same as uh jigsaw's one machete same as jigsaw's one and a baseball bat here. His hands are very stiff as well. Um, so require a bit of uh, working to get stuff into it. But baseball bat, gonna add paint to this because it's too shiny. Um, it's very, I don't know, it just seems too plasticky. So gonna add a bit of um, brown and black to that to um, weather it up a little bit. And he also comes with this helmet as well. Um, reminds me very much of uh, Skyrim. Um, but yeah, it comes with this helmet. So, the actual figure himself, decent. I really like him. And for the age of it as well, uh, really nice. My only thing with a lot of the Marvel Legends and Star Wars um, they don't come with places for their guns, uh, weapons. G.I. Joe, obviously, they hook on all over the place. Um, but the Marvel Legends and Star Wars don't, and it's really annoying. But um, overall, decent looking figure. Obviously, solid black, and then you've got a skin tone, but that is all the colours on him. Um, this holster is the same holster that is on Flint from G.I. Joe. Um, he's a very similar figure as well. Um, so articulation wise, his, let's, let's start at the top. Articulation, his head is obviously on a ball joint, but it's also a lot, goes back really far um, and forward really far as well. Uh, tilts, not that much. And obviously 360. Arms go up that high, so not too far forward that far and back that far. 
you've got shoulder rotation, bicep swivel, double jointed on the arms so you can actually get a good bend there and wrist uh, rotation and up and down hinge on the wrist. He's got a crunch but he doesn't really crunch that far. He's kind of that far and then that far back. He's got waist swivel, legs go out quite far and he does actually balance. I managed to balance him earlier, um, well not earlier, on one of them photos, there you go, balanced, balances nicely. Legs go up that far and back not that far at all. You got upper thigh rotation and double jointed knees and you've got that um, ankle uh, hinge and a bit of a pivot on there as well. So overall it's a really decent figure, um, really like it. Sits on the bike well, um, which I can do now. Uh, the only thing is obviously, as I mentioned earlier, that the hands are quite stiff um, to get them to hold stuff, so you just kind of have to work it a little bit. But it should be able to just go on like this. So sits on it nicely, um, looks really cool as well while on that bike. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I've also just set up an Etsy store for prints. Um, so if anyone's interested in photography prints, um, I've got canvas on there at the moment. Obviously I'm still uploading stuff to it, um, but there will be a link uh, in the description and on my main channel as well. So head over there, um, show your support um, by getting some prints um, so yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time thank you and goodbye <laughs>